So welcome to Bitfumes and in this episode of Laravel Telescope, we are going to do two important things. One is we are going to study the configuration file of telescope, which is this one. And the most important thing about telescope is how we can restrict a user for accessing telescope via this URL, which is slash telescope okay so now what I'm going to do first start with the telescope configuration when you have installed the telescope you must have run this command then after running this command you get this file telescope.php which includes the configuration related to it the first thing is path what that mean it's very easy that means if you don't want to call it telescope suppose you want to call it debugger so like this what happen if you do this ha huh. it's not available because there is no route called debugger but if i change it to debugger and i will restart the server then if i refresh yeah the same telescope is now working under debugger route or path instead of just uh, telescope so that's very important and this is actually useful when you want to hide your telescope with others <laughs> so nobody knows what path you have given okay then comes the driver is database and storage is simply if you have my mysql like uh, then comes the limit what that limit means so you can see Currently, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 entries in the requests. Okay, so here it's 100, so limit is 100, too. so it will show you till 100, last 100 entries for anything you have given here. So what if I change it to just 5, so I have done that, refresh that, not affected but as soon as i go and run this base command that means i have a new entry and with the new entry all the other entries will flushed and we just have only five entries and that's exactly uh, applicable to each of these system which is like command schedule job or whatever it is okay so this is very nice if you want to change it and that depends upon your configuration then the middlewares obviously this include the web middleware but uh, you can add another middlewares like uh, you can see right now i'm not logged in but what if i say here middleware of auth so i am not logged in but as soon as i refresh now it's asking for logging in yes you need to log in to access the telescope simple enough and very very useful for middleware then comes these watchers so exactly this telescope watches each and everything inside of your level framework but you can turn it on or off simply so what if i just turn off i want to turn off this telescope request so as uh, let's let's do one thing let's remove this auth from here and refresh oops yeah like this and yeah request is here so if i refresh here yeah one entry is added for the base url but if i now go copy this one go to dot env file and here i will say is equal to false and let me just restart the server and now yeah we have done that so as soon as i go and even if i refresh many times there is no entry for the requests so likewise if i visit any route no entry again on the request but i delete this and after deleting if i do this yes you can see entry is here so this is very useful if you don't want to have certain kind of watchers in this okay so this is for the configuration of telescope but i have told you we want to restrict the visiting of the telescope by anyone so we just want to have control over this first thing is that 
in your local environment you can just visit this debugger or telescope let's just make it telescope again okay so now we will say telescope okay so in a local environment telescope can be accessed by any type of user from anywhere so first thing what i'm going to do i'm going to change the app environment which is now local but converted to production so let's restart the server because i have changed the dot in with file good now if i now go and refresh this page it's saying you are not accessible because it says the page is not accessible because now we are on production mode instead of local but how an admin can access this so what i'm going to do now if i go and visit this you can see i'm not still logged in and on your database we have two users one is marcel and other is sarthak so let's first log in with marcel so log in with marcel secret and let's try to access telescope still it's saying forbidden access to this page why because we have not told our uh, telescope that this user this marcel user is an admin so we need to go to app providers and telescope service provider inside that if you scroll down you will see this gate function and now here we just need to give that email address of particular user so this means as soon as i do that refresh the page yep access by the marcel so once more let's do one thing let's just log out from here log in with sarthak and try to access telescope obviously it's not available and now we can add another one inside this array which is this one and try to access and yes it is accessible by these two users only in production mode in local mode it's available for everyone so this is all about telescope it's in beta uh, now but uh, as soon as it releases with some versions i'm sure taylor and uh, mohammed going to add more and more functionality to this telescope and as soon as the new functionality came i will review that and create the video for you so if you have liked this episode please go and share with other friends if you want to see more of these kind of laravel related tutorials just subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification you can like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram and we will meet in some other videos so till then good bye